All right, so I meant to make a video of this before I field strip this, but actually you don't have to fully field strip it. You just need to remove the slide, remove the slide from the gun, um, doing your normal field strip process. Set that aside. Um, and I got it. I got excited and started without you guys. So what you want to do is you uh, get your punch and knock out the rear retaining pin right there. I've already done that, as you can tell. But you just knock that out, knock that loose. And then what you want to do is remove the the rear. Uh, I forget what we call it, but this block. This it's got the rear rail uh, ejector, sears, and all the disconnects are right here. Um, so I'm just going to pry that out with a screwdriver. It's not in there very snug. You just kind of just need to work it out. Now that you're supposed to pull the trigger as you release it, and there you go. Now it's out and loose. So take your lower your grip away and the ejector falls loose so just remember the way that it is in there sorry my thumbs in the way because I'm kind of holding it there you go I don't know if that's focusing or not it's not really focusing at all but yeah the ejector just is loose comes off set that aside with your pin so what you have is the magazine disconnect which is this silver piece there and this is the sear disconnect right here so what you're going to do now is remove that lower pin there's two pins one there sorry one there's an upper pin you can see it upper pin and lower pin you're going to knock those out as well and then what you're going to do is end up replacing there's a spring in there replace that spring remove the magazine disconnect and replace the spring with a bigger spring and then reinstall the sear and the pin the sear disconnect and the pin so I'm gonna knock this pin loose and then uh, turn the video back on actually I lied I haven't done anything uh, this pin actually isn't um, I don't know if captive is the right word or not but it is held in place by the lower where they handle the grip of the gun so you just really just, pu just push it out so I'm gonna do that on camera anyways just push that loose Make sure you don't lose the spring. So there's there's everything. There's the rod or the pin, the spring, and the two disconnectors. So what you want to do is get your replacement spring. which I think the one I got is going to be too big, so this video might take another day. It's the right size, so we'll see. We'll cut it down, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I got my spring, and I trimmed it down. And this is the, the straight one. Is The straight disconnector is the magazine disconnector. So that's the one we'll be removing, and that's... That's the sear disconnector which you want to keep. So set that aside in the original spring. And save these because if you ever sell your firearm or want to return it back or this doesn't work, you can just replace the original parts and you have your original gun. Um, so it's hard to see stuff on this magazine with the font and pictures. So what I'm going to do is try and reinstall this. Okay, so that was kind of a pain in the butt, but it is back together. You can see that there. Sorry, this is fuzzy, but my camera doesn't have a macro setting. Let me see if this helps. See it there, and it does still adjust. So what the spring is doing is just holding tension against the sear disconnector so it doesn't flop out of the way and recoil. So I cut the spring a little bit longer to have a little bit of pressure. Um, and then I'm going to function test the gun like all of you should do if you do this or any kind of modification to your gun. Let me go run some rounds through it to make sure it still works. Um, so I'm going to reinstall this and then dry fire the gun um, and see if the gun fires without the magazine installed. So we'll see here in just a second. 
So don't forget to reinstall the extractor or you're going to have a whole new problem. <clears throat> and the extract extractor just drops right into the side here. And the slot that's for it. It doesn't doesn't fit anywhere else, so if you can't figure that out, good luck. Uh, another thing that just happened is uh, you might want to watch out for is this little pin fell out of the the lock. Oh wait, it didn't fall out of there. Where the hell did this thing come from? Shit. Oh no, it did. Sorry, it did fall out. It's from the inside. This little pin, it's not even a pin, it's just a stopper to keep dirt out. Fell out from inside the uh, irresponsible parent lock, is what I like to think of it as. Because it's the turnkey lock that's supposed to lock the gun from being fired, even if it's, you know, whatever. It's a stupid safety feature. <clears throat> so then you want to reinsert your. block and reconnect it to your gun. Okay, so the memory card ran out, sorry. Um, so yeah, what you're doing now is just reinstalling the block into the gun. Make sure you got your extractor back in there. There's the little uh, pin that fills in the lock hole. I think that's what's actually in my way right now. There we go. Sorry that took a little long, <clears throat> but I couldn't get uh, everything in the right grooves. But there without the pin, seems to be uh, working. Uh, let me get it back together, and we'll see here. What I'm going to do is hold this in place with the punch and reinstall the slide and test it without having to hammer in the pin. Make sure the punch doesn't fall out though. So we've got success. There is no magazine in a gun, as you can see through there. And I have a gun that from the factory came with the magazine disconnect and now does not. So, pretty sure this is the first person, or first, not, I don't want to be the first person, I don't really care about that, but the first video on YouTube showing how to do this. I know people have done it for like the SR9s, uh, I think the Browning High Powers has a video for it. Um, but, yeah, so there you go, that's how you remove the magazine disconnect on your Smith & Wesson M&P 9s and 40s. I don't know if the 45 is any difference, but the 9 and 40s are pretty much the same exact gun. And 357 SIG, if you have one of those. Um, so I'm going to reinstall the uh, pin, the rear pin on the beaver tail, and see how it goes uh, with some test fire. Now i got to go find my dog because I think he just wandered off. <laughs>